of, of Ross Robinson, really, the producer. I mean, it was it was him that det he determined like how we did everything, and when we did it. Um, he set up the, the studio space for us. He picked like the instruments and the amps. He set up the whole kind of like atmosphere, and he forced us to confront things to do with the group and to do with each other as individuals that we would otherwise have bypassed in order to make a record. So he turned the experience of making the record into something much more than just making a record. He wanted us to live and breathe this album, and so that it's the most important thing that any that any of us have ever done actually in the studio, like, certainly in the studio. The songs that were left off were, four of those five were among the, the, the most downbeat, depressing songs that The Cure have ever made. And, and I wanted the album to, ref, to be more accessible and to actually like to encourage people to come and listen to what The Cure do, and then to kind of, if they stuck around, to find out more about the darker side. So I think th this, the record will surprise people in that it is a lot more diverse, certainly than I imagined it would be when Ross's name came up as, as a potential producer. I thought we were headed down a particular kind of road, but um, in fact, it pretty much sums up everything that I like about the band. The End of the World is superficially about the breakdown of a, a relationship in that you can, it's, if you're, you invest enough time and, and, and energy into another person, they, in, they have the power to kind of like destroy your world, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, I also wanted to set the song in a wider context of like, you know, this kind of all pervasive fear that seems to be being en engendered by Western media in particular that, it, you know, we're heading towards the end of the world. And it, it's kind of, it was, it was trying to marry the two in a successful way, which I hope I did. Gloria Sigismundi, um, who I think is a great filmmaker, and she, but her vision of what the song was about and mine just couldn't coincide. And so... Again, I thought rather than fight it, I'd just hand over control. So the, the video is actually is her interpretation of the song. And um, I found it very strange actually watching it for the first time. Because it, um, it, 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 I have such a different mental image of the song than, than the video, which is the first time that's happened.